When Jesus announced his ministry, he said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And in the Sermon on the Mount, we find the principles of what I like to call Jesus's upside down kingdom. As we read through the Sermon on the Mount and especially the Beatitudes, uh, which is the beginning to the Sermon on the Mount, we find that Jesus's kingdom operates opposite to the way that the kingdoms of this world have operated for so long. And that's because the kingdom of God is one that is not full of corruption. It's not full of evil and selfishness and all the other things that you see happening in human governments, no matter which government it may be. The kingdom of God is marked by, by, by that which is right and just and holy and often gracious. Thank God. But we're going to be in Matthew chapter 5 as we've been the last few weeks talking through the different Beatitudes, which are attitudes you should be. And I want to read from verse 8 in, in Matthew chapter 5 where it says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And I want you to see you know, this idea of being pure in heart as it's almost like you can see the world through the lens of purity or you can see everything around you through the lens of negativity and impurity and, 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 and that which is corrupt. And what, what I mean is our spirits become contaminated when we're living apart from God and it clouds our judgment. And all we can see are things that are destructive and horrible and you know negative and we just get in the doldrums and we end up being unproductive and so many Things take place and we actually end up becoming part of the problem. But those who are walking in relationship with God and, and in union with the Holy Spirit, we find a purification takes place and our, our eyes become open. We begin to see things through the right lens. We begin to see God at work around us. We begin to perceive what the Holy Spirit is uh, facilitating in our midst. Those who are pure in heart shall see God. This is why we have to daily be in con conscious contact with God so that our hearts are in the right spot. When our hearts are in the right spot, we can see things from the proper perspective. And that's the key. Those who are pure in heart shall see God. We shall see the Holy Spirit at work in our midst. When we die and we arrive into his heavenly kingdom, we'll see God face to face because we've been purified and bought with the blood of Jesus. And in the kingdom of God, we actually, we actually instead of in, in defiling ourselves with corruption and seeing things from a selfish perspective, the principle is, is that we need to see things from God's perspective. And so that's what's so powerful about what it means to be the pure in heart. Amen. Freedom Journey is a uh, ministry that fights the epic of addiction, and we put these de devotions out daily so that we can minister to those who are part of the ministry we're doing, but also we want to make it accessible to the general public. Uh, we, uh, we would love to help if you have a family member that's suffering from addiction. Uh, you can send us a message or put something in the comments here, uh, but most importantly, we want to just invite you to pray for us as we seek to share the gospel of the kingdom with those who are suffering from addiction. We've seen so many breakthroughs. Within two years, we saw 100 baptisms. It was just so powerful to see the kingdom of God working through the Freedom Journey ministry here in Vero Beach, Florida. So I hope you'll be praying for us. And if you have any questions, please let us know. And with that being said, looking forward to tuning back in with you next Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. Pastor Roger uh, will be tuning in with you tomorrow morning. Uh, and uh, I know he's going to have something powerful to share as well. Amen. Well, God bless, and you have a great day.